This is Step Up. Hey guys. So, I just seen this um, from Pastor Paul Bagley. Breaking USS Abraham Lincoln deploys to uh, Middle East. So, he just put this out today. So, this just happened. And I got to tell you guys, this is important because... This, I believe, is the prophetic fulfillment of what I seen in my dream over a year ago. I had a dream of um, a, one of these types of ships. I knew it was military. I knew it was like flat on the top like this. Um, and it's not the exact looking one, but... It was made of glass and I think in my dream and it, the glass was black so black represents death and also um, uh, you know <sighs> darkness or the dark forces working evil evil abounding um, and so this is you know this is what we see acts of war right this is what the enemy um, likes to create uh, because they go by the motto um, order out of chaos right and our father in heaven is is different he he creates order so to prevent chaos right so it's the reverse anyways so and the glass in my dream of the ship represented the the fragility of um this um this effort this um this move with this war this worship right this flat um worship so this is an aircraft carrier so this is what the u.s is trying to do now here u.s deployer uh this is just a snippet from um, just a Google search. U.S. deploying carrier and bomb task force in response to troubling Iran action. So that was 12 hours ago. U.S. sends aircraft carrier and bomber task force to warn Iran. So this is this is um, to send a very loud message. Okay, this is a huge. Basically, in my dream, it's a huge, pr it, it, my dream, this is the prophetic fulfillment of it. And this is like a huge mistake in the fact that this is going to have more repercussion and could be the pivotal um, starting point or pressure plate to um, bring the judgment or start the judgment on Babylon. That, that is Mystery Babylon, which is, we know as America, the Great America. So, in my dream, okay, when I seen this, it, it, they thought they were, when it came back to dock into our shores, and everything was peaceful, and they thought, I knew that everybody in the boat had no, absolutely no idea. They thought they were successful. They were thought they were victorious in whatever effort they partook in this move. Okay. And then when it docked into the shores, um, into the dock, came back to dock peacefully, literally the engine jammed and the thing went high speed and just like, drove right into the tunnel and um, basically exploded and collapsed and um, just basically destroyed itself. So this, this is what this dream, this prophetic dream is talking about, that this move will be um, basically America committing suicide. This will be the marking of the beginning of the time that 
that Babylon will be judged and um, it's basically divine. It, this is God's hand, the judgment that he's bringing because of the condition of um, America, which was supposed to be a nation of Christians. It was supposed to be for God the same way that Israel had been in the past, that they fall away, fell away to false idol worship and um, the ways of the sinners and um the unrepentance and the unclean and that kind of thing. So we see, and um, the lukewarm. And so we see that condition. The, the church has gotten fat. The Laodicean era right now has gotten so fat and comfortable that they've just taken God and his word and his character for granted and have ignored him and neglected him and, and, and their position and what it means to uh, be saved and a Christian. And so now this is the, this is the judgment. This is, this is prophesied. And it's the time, the appointed time to fulfill um, the coming in of the Gentiles, which is the harvest and the end of the world. Okay. Which will, um, so this is the Psalm 83 war that will start Um I think I believe from this, but America is, is going to be judged. So this is the destruction. And we know that America's destruction comes in one hour and one day. So all her plagues and all her judgment judgments. So be mindful of that. And okay. Be mindful of that. Okay. This is, this is what's at hand. So this is, this is, this is the prophetic fulfillment of my dreams. When I seen this thing lose control and they thought peace and safety, they thought they were successful in this mission. They thought they were the strong men. And then it went to dock and come back like as if everything was over and surprise, like sudden destruction, um, they were all helpless. Everyone perished on this boat. Literally everybody. Um, okay. And while this, the thing was blowing up, okay, literally on blowing up, I seen angels standing all above around this boat. Okay. This, this. Okay. And they were standing all around it in a circle and they were singing with their voices, you know, like how they do the acapella groups and that, that, you know, the vocal singing. Right. And so the angels voices are like instruments, the way they sing. It's like, it's beyond what you can comprehend. It's almost like their voice can be an instrument, and so they're humming and they're singing and they're making all these noises and it's, it's beautiful. But at the same time, the tone that they sang, they were singing intensely and they were so, so, so serious. Um, and they were looking down at the boat as it was exploding and they were raising their voices higher and higher and higher, louder and louder and louder. And, um, gosh, my goodness, I tell you, I had the chills in my dream of the Holy Spirit. Like I felt my body just vibrating and basically the song in my spirit in this, this prophetic vision in this dream of mine that the Lord Jesus our heavenly father gave me. I'm telling you, it was about death and destruction that the angels were singing about. And I almost, I want to show you. Um, I don't know if I can look it up for you guys now. It sounded very similar to 
the Star Wars, um... Yes. This is the one. This is it. This is what they sounded like. That's it, guys. I am telling you, literally, so, so similar to that song that, and that's the feeling I got, is total destruction and death, and that this was divinely appointed and overseen by the angels so that it would be the result would this would be the result like literally that the angels were um basically coordinating and, and god's angels you know his angels um were coordinating the destruction and making sure seeing to every detail that indeed it would um come about the way God intended it. Uh, so guys, I'll, I'll leave it at that. And I, I just, I was so blown away. Sorry for being ill prepared for making this uh, video, but I just really needed to bring it to you right away because this, I feel like this is the sign. This is the sign that the Lord gave me that it's soon, that this is the marker that we start. It starts from here. So, um, I, I want to encourage you all, please repent, repent daily of fresh sins. Take your fears and your woes and your cares and whatever it is and, and, and anything that's in your heart or you feel like you're not sure about, please take it to the Lord Jesus Christ in prayer. He will reveal what you need and what you need to do and where you should be at. And, um... I don't know what to say else, guys. The time is soon. So these are the signs. Okay. I hope and pray this has encouraged you as it has me. And may the peace of Christ be with you and all your own. Abba bless you and keep you. 
and protect you and deliver you from all that is about to come on the face of the earth through the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ and cleanse you so that you may be pure and spotless before him when you come to see him face to face. In the name of the, our Lord Jesus Christ, amen.